Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Bobby, aka Bot. And I'm James, aka The Con. And together we are. Welcome back to the channel. As you see, I am still in the closet. I will be off vacation next week, so I'll be back to my, my dungeon of Transformers. So I apologize for the echo in advance. Yes, and you still have me jealous of your long vacation. I hope to do that when we go to Orlando, but we'll see. So this episode, we're going to be talking about the third-party product preview panel. So now this was in LA, and we saw it live. It's been about a week, so it's going to be interesting to see what our thoughts are now that we had time to think it over. And we are using the slides via tfw2005.com, so... If you want to see these slides in more detail, I'd recommend going there. The images are really big, so you can zoom in and see all the details. Yes. So let's start off with the first one, which is Half the Battle Toys, mainly their nanobots. So let's just go directly into this. We've talked about this before, so let's see what we have to say about these new figures. So the first one is Soundwave. And if I'm not mistaken, do you have the um, gray pre-release sample of this figure? I do. I actually picked him up at TFCon LA last year, so 2022. And he, uh, I actually stopped by his booth and I picked up quite a few of these actually. But yes, really, really small. Um, it's amazing. Now the articulation is on the Soundwave, but not on the, the tapes. Well, and that does make sense because as the picture shows, it is only 36 millimeters high. So that is <laughs> very small. Um, and if those um, cassette tapes had articulation, that would be crazy. Even though I could see him probably doing a swivel for the arms at the very least. But again, without having them in front of me, I don't know how small they really are <laughs> yeah they're they're very tiny i mean they can sit on your thumb and you know it's i i don't have you know nba player hands so you know them sitting on my thumb is is quite impressive all right well let's move on to their brawn which is beat down which i love that name and this <laughs> looks really good for what it is i don't like the feet but again I'm sure that's just because of the scale. It needs big feet to be able to stand because this is a tiny guy at only 24 millimeters, less than a centimeter. That's crazy. Yeah, I did not pick this one up. Uh, he didn't have it available at the time. And I believe the gentleman's name is Mike, um, but he didn't have them available at the time. So uh, that is a really cute little, little guy there. Yes. And next we have Shockwave. And, you know, honestly, this looks like the best one. It even has, if I'm not mistaken, ball joints in the toes to give it some sort of ankle tilt. And this one looks really cool. So I, I, I do like what I'm seeing so far. Are they for my collection? Probably not, but I do like this. You know, I, I have them set up next to my Unicron, uh, my HasLab Unicron, and they are so tiny, but it makes the scale worthwhile. So putting them next to Titan class and things like that is just amazing. Mm -hmm. But I do, I did not have this one again. This one wasn't released at the time, but I do like the fact that you can actually bend the arms and have him actually pointing his laser ray. So this one's really cool to me. Yes. And just for scale on that shockwave, they showed us this picture. And I think this really puts it into perspective with how small these really are. Yes, the host of the show, uh, of the panel, actually said that he took this in his hotel room on his laptop. So mm -hmm. that is very impressive, and that's about right. That's how small they are. Yep, and I can see this looking really good with that Unicron or any combiners or city bots. Yes. Um, they also showed off their Grimlock, and I'm assuming they will be doing a robot mode Grimlock, too. And this makes me think, are they going to be doing all of the alt modes in this same scale? Because obviously these can't transform. But it might be cool to sell them as a pack with both of them. You know, I wonder, I've, it, it seems like with the Dinobots more than any other Transformer, 
they're known for being in their alt modes more so than in their bot mode. So I can see him doing these first and maybe even waiting a while before he went out and did the, the bot modes. Again, not that I have any personal insight, but I just for trying to get as many figures out as possible, I think it would probably be, you know, come around to get the Dinobots in their bot mode. That would make sense, yes. And, oh, well, there's bot mode Grimlock right there as we're talking about him. Look at that. <laughs> I was already wrong. <laughs> <laughs> so... so. Um, it look, it's a very early 3D render. Well, maybe not early, but it is a 3D rem rendering. So th that's going to look really good with the art, especially with that um, gate down, um, the, the walk gate. I can't think of the name. <laughs> but so I think this will look um, pretty good with that. Yeah, it, it does look good. Uh, I, I love the figures. I wish I would have waited to get mine fully painted, but oh, well, I was an early adopter. Yes. And there they are again with the. Um, now this is this surprised me. That is the Legends class Jetfire from New yeah. Age. So it's extra tiny already. I mean, it's a big figure, but in, it's still Legends class. It's not the Siege version. So these are remarkably tiny. Uh, totally. It. I. I remember when he announced it in the the panel room and everybody was like oh you know it just it just took everybody's breath away when, when, he, when he said he that it was how small it were. yeah when he said it was legends everybody was like what so all right and then again more product shots showing how small it is and there's their hound that they will be coming out with as well doing a little sassy pose <laughs> and there's their grimlock like we just saw and jazz and it looks like that's Reflector and Megatron in the back, which I think we've already seen. Right. And he did have some of these uh, for sale at TFCon, and they were on the Spruce, so you can actually pop them off and do them yourself, or uh, you can get them combined already, yes. or put together, rather. Which, which is pretty cool, because if you wanted to make like a Marvel G1 Megatron, you can do that. And then here's more. Which, which I really like this scene. This, this just shows how if you didn't, if I didn't know these were so tiny, I wouldn't think they were. Right. And this was actually in the dealer room, which showed the kind of the upcoming fi figures and things like that. So it was it, in the case and it looked really good. It did. And then another product they're doing is a hammer for Unicron. Now, I don't think that Unicron has ever used a hammer. I could be completely wrong. Please let me know in the comments if Unicron has used a hammer like this. But I do like it, and it makes sense for Unicron. You know, he has to make the planets a little a little tender before he eats them. Tenderizing them. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Add a little salt and pepper there or something like that. <laughs> well, you know, to the salt and pepper, it might be some Energon, but yes. Yeah, you know, so one of the things that I, I like about them, so I've purchased other things from him. Um, he made the separation kit for uh, the HasLab Unicron as well, so I've purchased that through through him. And I've also purchased the add-ons for the, um, the ARC. So he makes a lot of 3D printed uh, components as well for Transformers. So a uh, really talented guy and... I don't know if I'm in for the hammer, but I can see your point in kind of giving him another weapon to use. Yes, and here's another shot of it. So he can hold it with two hands. I believe this, I don't remember the company, but this is Pumpkin, I believe. It might be the Studio first cell. Yes. Yeah. And then they also showed off their Hound. And now this is a G.I. Joe compatible. So it works with the three and three quarters inch figures. And you could put them in it, and it is fully transformable. So this is some art that they're using for the boxes, if I'm not mistaken. And this thing looks really good. So I, I, I'm curious to see the size on it. I remember, I think we saw the prototype. Yes. Um, but I can't remember how big it is. So I'm hoping it's MP scale. Excuse me. Because I do need a hound. And this one is different enough where it'll fit right in with my weirdo MP shelf. Wow. 
I think I heard all types of bells and everything go off. I wasn't expecting that. Yeah, no, I mean, I, I, I'm not a big Hound fan, but you make it into a unique vehicle like this, and I'm down. It's not G1. Totally cool. <laughs> 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 so, um, but it also depends on the price. If the price is honestly over a hundred dollars i'm probably gonna be out because that hundred dollars can go towards a, an immaculate decepticon uh yeah I'm, I'm i'm hoping that the price point is somewhere around 80 or 90 if it's master yeah, master that, that would that, that'd be the sweet spot so moving on to the astrobots now i think we're not going to talk too much about these because it doesn't really fit in with our collections but they are cool so they showed off a video clip, which I'm not going to show, but here is Apollo. Now, this thing came out, I think, in like 2018, 2019. I remember when this came out, and it looks like a really cool figure. I just have no, I don't want to say use for it. I have no spot for it in my collection. <laughs> yeah, I totally agree. Uh, I don't have, in, in terms of not having a place for it in my co collection, uh, but even if I did, I'm not sure it's something I would collect. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I do like them, though. And especially some of the ones they're coming out with. Um, especially that girl in the middle looks really cool. But I think we'll see a prototype. So they're having a comic book series. I got a, the free sample, but I haven't read it yet. But it looked pretty cool. The art was really well done. And it, they said it was the same artists that did the MMC comics, if you guys are old farts like me and originally collected the MMC um, figures from back in the day, and they came with comic books, and this is really reminiscent of that. I do remember them saying that, and like you, I got the comic book as well, but has, haven't had a chance to read it. I'm actually going to take a look at it, I think, on the plane home. Oh, that's very smart. And you know, looking through it, it seems like my type of story, and I honestly might be more interested in the comic book than I am the toys, <laughs> but we'll see. Um, so this is the girl I was talking about. Now, obviously, these don't transform, but that just looks cool. She looks really awesome, and she looks really posable, but again, it would have to be pretty cheap is the wrong word, pretty um, affordable for me to get it. I I just don't have the place and I don't want to go down another rabbit hole of purchasing another line of figures because I just don't want to, I have to keep the peace at home. <laughs> <laughs> and then, oh wait, I, I, excuse me. This is the girl that I thought looked really, really cool. Oh, I actually like the previous one better. Oh, see, I like this one better. But again, oh, look, it transforms into an e uh, uh, owl in the, the top corner of the screen. <laughs> what is that? I didn't realize that when we were watching it. Do you see it? I do see it. And I didn't realize that either. <laughs> what and is that supposed to be? I, now I, I need it just to have it on that post on my shelf just because it's ridiculous. <laughs> So, so you have to take back everything you said about them not transforming. It looks like they do transform, or at least she does. I, I, I don't know if that's transforming or if they just put it in a funny pose. <laughs> so, but this this one, if I was to get any of them, it would be this one. I think this one is really cool. It reminds me of Warframe a little bit with the head and stuff, and I do like Warframe, so I, I, I would be interested in this. And again, price is right. I might buy it. The funny thing is, the previous girl, she reminded me of a character off of Soul Calibur, I believe. And I don't know why I think she fought like, yeah, the little ring in the back. Oh, you're, yeah. I don't I don't know the name, but I, I see who you're you're talking about. Yes. Yeah. So that's that's why I was looking at this one. But yeah, so I'm glad that we disagree. <laughs> yeah. Maybe we'll have to both get one. And then this thing was cool, too. But again, I know that's going to be expensive, and I'm not going to get it. <laughs> so yeah, I remember. It's, it's really nice looking though. It has two Omega Supreme arms. Yeah, and you can change them to drill hands, as shown in the same box with the Owl Lady. 
So, um, yeah, for those of you that collect standalone lines like this, I think you guys are really going to like this because I, I've seen some of the posability. I've watched videos on it, and they're really cool. But like you said, I just don't need to go down another rabbit hole. So. Yes. I honestly, if I had the space, I probably would do it just for the heck of it. But yeah, that's I, I agree line. with you. But I think I would say that about a lot of stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So let's move on to Magic Square. And the first thing they showed off is the Mukado, which we've talked about in news before. So this isn't a newly announced figure, but this is their SD Chromia. And gosh dang, my point still stands. He's cute as heck. And you were supposed to get the Nightbird of this. I was thinking about it, but it was a little too pricey for what it was for a novelty item. I see this thing being $20, $25 because that's what it is worth to me. But for the price it comes out at, at I believe $50, that was just too much for me. Now, if it was, you know, black arachnia, then we'll talk. Here we go. Then then we'll talk. But I don't know how they would make this a black arachnia. <laughs> I, I've never, out of all the pictures, I never noticed that little axe she has. Well, you know, now you do. Yeah, that's kind of cute. And here is it, her, you know, going to brawl with somebody. Here's her being cute. We saw all these pictures already on our news channel. And there it is. And it's very interesting um, motorcycle mode from IDW. I'm not a big fan of the exposed fists, but I understand the compromises have to be made. Right. But I'd still like it. Me too. I agree. Okay, they also showed off their Combaticons. So here's Brawl, Swindle, Blastoff, Vortex, and Onslaught. And here is the big guy itself, Bruticus. Now, this looks really good. I'm not a Legends collector, so I'm not going to be getting it. What about you, Bobby, You know, now that you're officially a Legends collector? I am not a Legends collector. <laughs> and stop trying to gas me up to be... <laughs> I I would so buy this. It looks so good, but I do not want to go down that that path of of starting another line of collecting. Because if I got this, then I'd have to get you know any of the other combiners and Devastator and Minosaur and all that, and I'm just not going to do it. Okay, I'll 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 keep you to your word. <laughs> at least now, at least right but now. The only, thing with this, <laughs> the only thing with this that I don't like is that it looks like the torso is just a piece you throw off to the side and then put on when you're combining it. Mm -hmm. And that's an easy, lazy way to make a combiner that looks good, but isn't fun, if that makes sense. At least in my opinion. I, I'm loving the way this looks. It looks really good. And... I'm just, I have to ch change the page, change the page, change, change it, change it. Change it, change it. Oh, God. Oh, really? That, <laughs> the oh. accurate version. <laughs> you want that one even more. No, okay. I do, I'm going to look up <laughs> at the it closet. <laughs> oh, that looks so cute and so good. I, I really, I mean, they did a really good job on this. They did. They did. And here's their slag. Um, this is Legends as well, and it looks really good. Um, not my style at all, but it looks good. Yeah, it's probably too tuned for you. 100%. Yeah, I was actually surprised when I saw this. It, it looks really, really clean. And so, again, this would be something I would pick up if I did start Legends. And it is getting harder and harder to say no. Mm, well, we'll see. And there, oh, there's the adorable dino mode. Now, this is just so cute. Again, I, they they knocked this one out the out the park. It looks really good. And gosh, if I had the space and the space, yeah, 
And I could probably create space, but I don't want to do that. <laughs> <laughs> and here's something that we just discussed that I bought. So yeah. this looks amazing. I don't think we really need to go too much into this. Is there anything else you wanted to say about this? No, but I am thinking about it. You should do it. So maybe we'll do a convince me on it. But <laughs> let's just go through. Here are some of the pictures that I did put in. There's the classic pose from the comic. I know you probably don't know, but this is it right here. This 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 sold me on it. And here's more posability and a very clean alt mode. So let's go on to new age. Yeah. So they they have a few things. So we'll go through these really quick. So they showed off a video that was very cute. That was like an old school. Was it? I forget which game it was. Contra. Uh, was no. it Contra? No. Because they said Contra and that was wrong. Yeah. Um, but it was an old school side scrolling um, shooter. Space, this space craft shooter. shooting game. And Power Glide was the um, main character. And it was really cute. And speaking of Power Glide, he has the worst name in third party history. It's Hughes, but he looks pretty good. I agree. And here is Bad Boy, I believe. Yeah, Bad Boy and um, Rattler. So these all look really nice. They look like they transform really cool, but a lot of twists they're, they're just too small. What? There was a lot of twists and turns when they showed the transformation. Yeah, that, that was very impressive. Very impressive. And I take it back. Hughes isn't the worst third-party name. It's Flying Worm. <laughs> that, that That is bad. <laughs> but you know what? I love that color. It looks really nice. And I, I would like to see this in person. If it's this shiny, that would be really tempting for, you know, my blue cryotech shell. That, I love that color. And I actually love the color of, uh, was it Goblin, the previous one as well? Yes. Yes. Yeah. I just wish the cockpit was a different color just to kind of give it a little bit more. That, I um, agree. Yeah. yeah, I agree. If it was the same color, that would be great. Even this one's all the same color now that I look yeah. at it. So it looks like they didn't paint the co cockpits at all. Maybe that's yeah. to make it more accurate to the tune. I'm not sure. And then here is Frankenstein, which is Autobot Spike, which I guess comes apart. I have zero connection to this character. I have not watched this episode of the G1 cartoon, nor do I want to. Um, <laughs> but this thing looks like it has good posability. I actually hated that episode <laughs> of the cartoon. And, not so much. Uh, and you know, when they came out with it, because it seems like everyone's coming out with it. X Transpods, uh, Blue Lobster was a fourth party that came out with it. Um, this one, and it's just an expensive, non transforming robot. And I don't understand even breaking this apart. What does it do when you break it apart? I think that's it. Exactly. So. <laughs> Like what's the what's the purpose of breaking it apart if it's not going to do anything? So um, maybe I guess you can create that, them putting it together. I don't know, but um, I the price points of this figure across the board has been more than I would have wanted to spend on this character. But I don't know how much this one will be from New Age. But it looks good. the The colors and everything look really good. Yeah. I think it would be cool if a company made a transforming version that transformed into a monstrosity. I think if they did that, I might be interested just because that would be so unique. Well, I would like it if you could actually put all the pieces together. So mm. it was almost like a puzzle. So, you know, you can take the pieces apart and it's like, okay, these are the pieces for Prowl and these are the pieces from Trailbreaker and, and mm -hmm. so on and so forth. I think that would be really cool. And then you kind of could, could, could um, create a scene of you building Autobot Spike versus just five limbs that pop together. Yes, yes. Uh, here is Ballin, which is their Huffer, <laughs> as well as Dwallin, which is Pipes. Now, they are different. They made a note to show how different their torsos were. Yes. So these are cool. Yeah, I don't have much to say about them besides they're cool. 
Yes, I think I like the Huffer a little bit better than Pipes. Oh, I'm the but... opposite. I've always been a Pipes guy. Yeah. And especially in this one, I think the Pipes looks beefier. So maybe we'll have a debate about that. Yeah, once you get both of them. Moving on here is a Wind Charger right here as Feely. So the feet on this guy are disgusting. <laughs> the guy, the, the the announcer for this panel said, oh, I like the feet. They're cool looking. No, they're not. They don't look. <laughs> so it's completely different from the rest of them. But I understand at such a small scale why this would be um, necessary. This is probably one of my least favorite characters from the G1. I don't know why, um, but more so because of the toys. The toys never really did it for me in in any essence of the, the figure. Um, but this one falls right in line with that that feeling. I don't really love the, the feeling, the character model. The, the colors look good, but it also looks plain at the same time. Mm -hmm. The alt mode looks good. I'll give it to them with that. Yeah, I'm on the fence about it. So, yeah, just not a, not a fan, and I don't know why. Well, maybe you won't be on the fence with this one, which is their sludge. And I'm not going to try to pronounce that name, but Redosaurus. Oh, there you go. You got it. In one one try. <laughs> yeah, <that's laughs> I guess it looks more intimidating than it is. <laughs> so this thing looks really cool. I I do I do appreciate this. Um, for what it is. I think it'll look great with their Grimlock. But again, one, I'm told, so said in the news, I'm not buying no more Dinobots because I'm good for the foreseeable future. But two, it's a legend scale. So I'm not going to be getting any of those. I thought but, you were going to say there's no sword. Well, number three, it has no sword. <laughs> we cannot have Dinobots without swords. I would I would take a sword and have no gun versus the other way around. But they had guns. Oh well, I was gonna say they had guns in the cartoon. That's what they fought with. So they've always had melee swords in my mind. I don't know. It's way more iconic than a gun for these guys. Grimlock's gun is iconic with the two barrels, but other than that, it's all about the swords. Yeah, I for think me. I think this one looks really good. It looks like it has, you know. The the legs look like they in in alt mode look like they have some joints where they can move pretty freely. So I like that aspect of it. The tail doesn't look stunted, which I've seen on you know some formats of sludge. So I'm okay with this. It looks like the head can can turn as well. So this one looks really good. Yep. Yeah. So um, are you going to be adding it to your collection? Nope. Nope, 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 <laughs> nope, mm -mm. nope, don't do that to me. <laughs> well, why don't we move on to something that you will be adding to your collection? Yes. Which is quite obvious. And the first one is, we already talked about these as well, but this is Variator, which is Gears. And look at that posability. Yeah, it looks like I he's hopping over see, a fence. <laughs> yeah, I don't see Gears ever doing this. I could be <laughs> wrong, but this, this is some crazy next level posability. And there he is just standing there looking grumpy as I'll get out. And there he is with his dinky little blaster. And there he is looking very happy. So they definitely have two types of faces where they have this youthful face and then this grumpy face. So. Yeah, I'm all in. This one? Yes, already it's been pre-ordered since it was first announced sometime last year so definitely getting this it's going to replace my bad cube version of of grump so very excited about it yep and there he is with cliff jumper and brawn i'm assuming those are the fans toys as well yes so, i actually picked up parkour or cliff jumper mm -hmm. in la and i had hunk aka brawn already on the shelf so uh this pose i really like this pose because you can see the difference in sizes between the three of them. Yes, which is very cool for mini bots. Yes. Oh, and his chest comes up. I'm assuming that was part of the show at one time. 
Yes. So it's pretty cool. Yes, I hope it has. So the Bad Q version actually had a chip that you could put into his chest. And in the episode, the chip was taken out of his chest, which made him happy. Oh, is that why he's grumpy in the other pictures? So when you when he has that in them, in him, um, that's what makes him get the grumpy old man that he normally is. So he's missing that chip. So. Oh, interesting. I have to watch that episode. Yeah, and there's this vehicle episode. mode, this cute little vehicle mode. Even though all the panels on the sides do look like a bit much, it kind of makes it look like it's almost tiger stripe, at least to me. <laughs> that just means to me that there's going to be a, a bit of involvement with the transformation in that area. Yes. So, and I'm sure if you don't have a light like they probably have right now while they take this picture, you won't notice them as much. Right. More. Um, pictures and here is Diverge, which is their swerve. Oh, but before, before that, here's all the grumpy little faces. A wide range of emotions. Yes, that fourth fourth one from the left. I mean, his mouth looks humongous <laughs> to get yeah. that that frown. <laughs> that, that's the face I would leave on him. <laughs> and then, like I said, here's D Diverge. Which is did this figure already come out or is this a brand new one or is this like a redo? This is a brand new one. Brand new one. Okay, because I thought the chrome legs made me think that this was going to be like a um, to uh, toy version or something like that. Yeah, this is this is new, and I'm really looking forward to this one as well. I do like this design better than Gears, so I think it looks really cool. And I like that they give you different head options, which is weird because I think the center one is for the IDW comics. I could be wrong. That I do not know. But it reminds me of the IDW gears. I mean, sorry, um, Swerve, which is very strange that they would put that on a fan's toys. But, you know, more power to them. Well, the fan's toys also did the Cyclonus from with... The, right. I, they did. So they are pretty good at at giving you ver uh, various options for your figures. And here's more of the alt mode. I do like that chrome on his feet sticking up. I think that's a great way to bring it in. And here are more mini bots right there. Yeah. So I just noticed something. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't have that one in the back there. You don't have the, I think that's pipes. It's on its way. That's why. Okay. <laughs> okay. It, it, it's up for pre-order. I was going to be like, wow. <laughs> and then here's the heads again. And then they showed off their skirt sweep, which again, we just talked about. I think it looks great. You think it looks amazing. We both gr agreed this is our favorite mode that you can put it in, and this is how it's going to go on your shelf, correct? Uh, speak for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I thought this was, when I saw it on the cartoon, I thought that was crazy, uh, but this looks crazy as well, so it probably will not be in, in this mode. Oh, yeah. Um, but yeah, so it looks great. Um, I don't think we have much else to say besides sell me this oh. by itself this is all i want i don't want the rest of the figure i just want the target master <laughs> well so. actually can you slide back before we go into this target master i want to see these faces here now the part about when they show these on screen and it looks the same way i don't see the the, the difference in these facial expressions the third one maybe but um the first and second one are very similar. Yes. The third but one looks different. The third one's different. And then the two on the bottom, I do think, are slightly different. Uh, his mouth is open. Yes, the, exactly. That's, yeah. But, but, the, other one, but the expression in the eyes is the same on all of them. Yes. So I'm hoping that, you know, maybe it's my, my old eyes playing tricks on me. I literally don't see much of a difference between no. them. So I, I, I think the host even mentioned that. Yes. So hope, hopefully they're, they look different in hand more so than they do on screen. 
So, but back to that target master. It go. does look nice. And I like, I actually like that pose right there. He looks like bring it, it looks on. Really cool. Yeah. Yeah. So if they sell these target masters by themselves, I'll buy them. Um, but I you know, won't be getting the whole thing. And there's um, all of them that Bobby's going to get and probably double that. <laughs> <laughs> He need, um, needs his Armada and more product pictures. And there's him with Cyclonus looking very, very fine, those two together. And there's the the bad trio right there, which looks really good as well. So I'm very I'm, excited to see these on your shelf. I'm so excited. I can't wait. Oh, and that's a really cool shot right there. Yes. So. Galvatron pointing out to go do something and neither one of them moving. <laughs> uh -huh. And also Galvatron's hand spazzing out a little bit there. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so let's go on to probably my favorite update that we saw. And that's Bingo Toys. And this is Black Arachnia. Supposedly. I mean, we're assuming. And that's the spider mode so far. So it looks like it does what their wind blade does. And the legs fold up. And the arms come out, and there you go. But I'm not expecting the un very amazing transformation with how the robot mode looks. So here are the product images itself. And I've already gushed enough about this. So, well, I mean, that head is in this bit, and I think there's two heads. This head right here just looks so cool. She looks like she's a Viking type of character. And I just think this looks amazing. So I, I cannot wait to get this, honestly. I'm still not sold. So maybe once they start showing more colored pictures, maybe. But right now, I'm just not sold. Yeah, well, you know. I wasn't sold on that Ultra Magnus until I saw it at this either. So maybe maybe in Orlando we'll see the full colored pictures of this. Or maybe it'll be out by then. For your yeah. sake, I hope so. Oh, me too. More pictures. And just look at uh, the stand isn't the best. So I don't I cannot get my wind blade to stand like that on my stand <laughs> when it comes in. But this just looks amazing. And it has like this the arm cannon thing. I Ugh, I can't wait. And the fact that it has multiple modes that you can orient it like, I really enjoy that. You know, it might be a little parts formery, but I'm willing to I accept that, especially like this. This looks weird as all heck, but I like it. I like that you can take all of the bug pieces off and just make her an action figure for more or less. Um, but I know people, some people might not like that, but I think it's really cool that you have that option. Just like Mocha and the Big Firebird um, toys. Well, I know how much you like Black Arachnia, and mm -hmm. it's only fitting that you get introduced to a new Black Arachnia figure at TFCon. Yes. So the I will be very excited to see what this looks like. Yeah. And then the last shot, I think, is the best shot. This is really cool. That's a cute photo. So let's go to O1 Studio. So this is seed which is the primus again we've talked about this on this show before i don't know if there's any new pictures but this thing looks pretty good anything you want to say about this that detail in the planet mm -hmm. mode is amazing and that's what sold me on this so yes it is pre-ordered and i can't wait i'm on the fence with this it is very pricey, so we're going to see what the colored picks look like before I put down any money on this. That detail is amazing. So, it looks really cool. And the space. So let's go to X Transpots. I know you were very excited to see what they were going to show off. Very excited. Very disappointed. What did they show off, Bobby? Fuzz. <laughs> and I In what scale? Use, and I wanted to use another F word. Besides fun. <laughs> and it's a legend yeah. scale. Mm -mm. And, and you know what? I, I'm no 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 shade to X Trans box, but this doesn't look as good as New Age or um, Magic Square. 
It really doesn't. The only thing, the thing that got me about this is that the arms don't look as complicated as their MP version, which has been a nightmare for everyone that I know that has the figure, including myself. So the arms look a little bit more simplistic, which is good, but that's all I can say about this. I was not happy with this reveal. I, it's not that I wasn't happy with it because, you know, I mean, I'm not collecting X Transbot, so I zoned out as soon as I saw their logo. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it's kind of eh. Very flat. Well, that well, looks good. Well, you know, I'll give it to them. That cleans up very nice. It does. Which, and you know, if that's what I have to say that's good about this figure, shows you what I think about this figure. <laughs> Well, so, I would just and more... this ain't the spike. This, this ain't Bingo Toys, you know, wind blade. So when I say the back looks good, that does not mean the same thing. So <laughs> this is not um, for me at all. Well, it's just that they have so many combiners out that I'm like, can you can you finish those and then go into this? I mean, there's a Devastator coming out. There's a the Protector Bots that are still coming out. MP scale. Um, so it's just like, okay, let's, let's get these completed first. Yeah. Even good though that almost, looks mode. Really good. that almost looks really, really good. That's what I was just going to say. Good looking car mode. A lot of detail looks nice. Yeah. So let's go to Metagate. So I'm the first thing there. is a Voyager class. Oh, sorry. Excuse me. I, I was saying I was very unfamiliar with them until we saw this. Yes. Yeah. Yes, so this is the Bumblebee movie Optimus Prime. Voyager class. I, or Legends. They said it was Legends class. Hey, looks good. I don't have no complaints. Um, I'm not getting it because one, it's Legends class. But I wanted to talk about this truck mode because there were some compromises taken for that robot mode. <laughs> <laughs> Big compromises. So... Yeah. The robot mode looks this good, thing. but mm -hmm. man, this looks like the longest bed of a truck, or you know, the, the connection part. It's, it's like a skateboard. Long. Yeah, it's it's just you take the red part off, and it'd be a skateboard. Yeah, or it looks like you know, like I could, like the the slippers you get with the the fuzzy icon, you know, whatever it is, animal or whatever, oh, at yeah. the front, you <laughs> yeah. know, and your foot it's goes in the back. So it's just. It's huge, it's just long. Yeah. And here's yeah. another one. And then the last one is a teaser for um, their MG MO2 Minjiang, which is their bludgeon. Now, this is a very weird bludgeon face because it's a skull, but not a skull. And we don't know if this is going to be a repaint of their drift just with a different head or if this is going to be something new. So. I am very interested in a bludgeon if it's done correctly. So I'll be interested to see how this works out. And I am out. Mm -hmm. Yes, I thought so. You and your hate for <laughs> um, <laughs> pretenders. Yeah. So let's go on to Iron Factory. Now, there are a ton of things they showed off. So I think we're going to be keeping this short and quick and just say yeah. a sentence or two for each one. Yeah. So the first thing are the female seekers off of their slipstream. Looks good. I wouldn't get them even if they were large because those heads are too big and they're not chibi enough. What about you? Not on my watch. Yeah. <laughs> they're just, not, I'm not a fan. Yeah. Pretty simple. Makes sense. And then they showed off their MN or EX34N, which is their combiner of the Decepticon Justice Division, but in tarn colors. This is worse than the original. I get it. They're trying to make it look like tarn. But to me, having these two, I forgot their names, not even look like the carrot colors they're supposed to be completely takes away the point of how it looks. I have no connection with the, the characters. So I was already out on this. Oh, and here it is next to the Tarn figure, so you see how big the combiner is. And then here, here we have Primal Prime, Leadfoot, and this was a, I think it was a BotCon character. I can't remember the name of it. 
Um, but if these were in chug or masterpiece scale, I would probably buy them. I really like these, especially the lead foot. Pass again for me here. I feel like, you know, we're playing a, a kid's game and I don't have the cards to play, so I have to keep on getting passed. Yep. Yeah. And here's Delta Magnus and the inner robot for Ultra Magnus. And I do like these. But, okay, I'm just going to pretend all of these are chug scale just to make it easier. I would get that Ultra Magnus the because I think that looks really nice. This is like right up your line of yeah. the the weird. If it if it wasn't legend scale, I would be getting all of these. To be quite honest with you. And again, I am out. And here's Galvatron and that Japanese styled lockdown, but this is like an Age of Extinction lockdown. And I would get that Galvatron in a heartbeat, but that lockdown, as much as I love lockdown, I just don't like it as him. Yeah, nah, nope, 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 <laughs> nope, nope, nope. Here's Inferno and um, Red Alert. And again, the Japanese style, I do, I'm do. i not the biggest fan of those. I would not get these. But they look nice for those of you that would like them. I wish I did, but no. I just, nope, nope, nope. More of them. Now, I am going to say that Art Fire looks really nice, especially with that kanji on his loincloth. I think that looks really cool. Yeah, no, not going to happen. Here's their um, smoke screen and blue streak, which look fine, as well as Prowl and Prowl. It's really weird and a little too much seeing that animated Prowl as not a motorcycle. It just does not work for me. It wouldn't have worked for me if he was a motorcycle. <laughs> <laughs> and here's Braun and Outback. Again, if they were larger than Legend scale, I would probably get that Outback because he's one of my favorite mini bots. But as it stands, I'm not getting this. I wish I liked this these these looks, but no. And here is Leo Kaiser. Now, if this was masterpiece, I would get this in a heartbeat. I think this looks really nice. These actually look better. Mm -hmm. And and one thing that's weird is these don't have breast masters, but these mm. do. So are they not actually breast masters? Are they just like their chests? I, I, I don't know. Hmm. Good catch there. I don't know either. But it looks, they, they, these look really nice. And here's Kill Bison and is it Drill Rhino? I, I, I can't remember his name. Um, but so these are really nice. And I like that these two are different. Usually they're based off of right. the same mold. And they do look like they share a lot of engineering in the legs. But I, I like that they're... The top half different. looks different. Yeah. And there's the combiner. And goodness gracious, this looks nice. And I do not know how that Jalguar, I think that's his name, how you pronounce it, transforms into that lower half. I actually like this. Mm -hmm surprisingly this yeah. this this set if i was a legends collector i would possibly pick this set up yeah i think this looks really cool and here so tfw has this listed as springer because <laughs> I'm, I'm looking at the names but this is actually death cobra and i am really excited that we're going to get a Death Cobra. And I'm honestly almost thinking about getting this figure because I don't know when we'll be able to get a Death Cobra again and putting him with the um, Leo Kaiser, my TFC Leo Kaiser that I have over here. Just because I think that's so iconic how Hell, um, Hellbat, yeah, kills him to be able to um, become part of Leo Kaiser. And I really want somebody to go and make a tfc size version of Death Cobra. I think you should do it. I might. I might. It depends on the cost. I'm surprised you don't want a Death Cobra since you're so into the cartoons. Uh, not that I mean. one. <laughs> um, here's the Fallen. And this thing looks sick. I hope it's like six inches tall so I could have some reason to buy it. 
because this looks so cool. It's right up my alley. The proportions are great. The giant buster sword looks amazing. The flame looks great. I love the character, the Fallen. If you haven't read the Dreamwave comics, I highly recommend them, but this looks really cool. I like the flames, and I like the sword. The end. <laughs> the no, the flames look really, really good on that. And yeah, I, I think the whole thing looks good, honestly. Yeah. Um, I just wish it wasn't Legends. Yeah, I'd happily pay one hundred and fifty dollars if this was, you know, nine ten inches tall. Yeah, but it's probably going to be a hundred dollars, and I'm not going to buy a figure that small for that much. And now here's two that I'm sure you're excited for. Here's the Japanese versions of. Um, Sideswipe and Sunstreaker. <laughs> no. Sunstreaker has some weak shoulders there. He looks like he's pouting for he real. Does. He does. <sighs> and then here's their first full, um, entrance into their Beast Wars. And here is um, Optimus Primal and Cheetor. Now, I don't know if this is still part of their um, Japanese style line because it looks like Optimus Primal is, but Cheetor is not. So I don't know. But these look cool. I'll be interested to see what the alt modes look like. And isn't Cheetor one of your favorite characters? Don't you want that? He is not my favorite character. <laughs> paint him black and make him Shadow Panther and I'll get him for my black repaint shelf. How about that? Hey, as long as you're spending money on this, I would be happy. <laughs> And here are the weird girl Transformer hybrids. So your Starscream and Thundercracker and Skywarp. I don't know what's going on with these. But kudos to those of you who are um, looking forward to them. Yeah, I. my mom always said if you don't have nothing nice to say, don't say anything at all. Well, the one thing I have nice to say is I think the ears are adorable, and I hope they're headband, and that you could buy them separately for other figures. And we'll move on. <laughs> to something more interesting. So here's Fan's Hobby. So the first thing is Boss Man, which we might do a more in-depth review on soon. I think that would be good. Yes. Just, um, show it off. So this is pretty cool. I really like it. Moving on, we've got... Now, I'm always going to mess up these guys' names. So, we've got the first half of Dreadwing, which is the U.S. colors. We talked about all of these already, so this looks really good. This is the one I'm going to get. Here is the Jet Mode, which I did not have a picture of, which I think looks phenomenal in Jet Mode. It does. And here is the second half, which also looks good, even though it has a lot of kibble. Looks very easy to, and simple to transform. It looks great. Here it is as a size comparison, so they're going to be pretty decent. So I know both of us are going to be getting this. And here's the combined mode, which I waited till now to talk about. I think this is really cool. Um, I, we've discussed this in the past. I don't really understand why <laughs> Transformers would need this, but it's cool nonetheless. I remember when I first saw it as a kid with the original G1 toys, and I didn't get it. And I still don't get it, but it's something it does. Not sure if I'll ever leave it in that mode, but I'm curious to see how it connects and how it looks together. And, and, yeah. and. So this is their overload, which we talked about, but here's its robot mode. And again, repaint is Ultra Magnus and you'll have my money. Yeah. Or if um, the Chosen Prime can figure out some cool repaint to do for TFCon. They might have my money if they do that. Because I could see this being repainted into a lot of different obscure characters. It's possible. It is definitely possible. Right? Yeah. So there's that. So they made a point to say that there were two uh, different types of connections. There is the normal mini port and some... 5mm peg holes. So the 5mm peg holes are for the newer figures, and the Minicon ports are obviously for the older Minicon figures. And I think this is really cool that they thought of that portion of the um, fandom that would want to even put the newer um, uh, Minibots on here. 
I thought it was really cool because it get, it also gives them a break where they don't have to start coming out with mini figures right yes. away. You know, people yes. can kind of reuse their old ones if they have them, uh, but there's still a, a line of sight to have uh, the mini cons reintroduced as well. Definitely. And here is, I guess, the core robot. I, I don't know what you would call this, but here he is. And this looks really cool. I do like the core robot. He's a big chunky boy. And he looks like he has some substantial height over that spark plug, which is correct. And here he is next to the inner robot of Prime and the combined version. And this is the one you got. So you'll be able to see how big it really is. Yes. And here's the combined mode. Looks fine. Um, I always wish there was more integration into it but I understand. And here is your favorite mode. The armor oh. lays down and the feet <laughs> sp spread out. And let's keep, uh, there's more pictures of the gun turret mode, which I guess we all need. And here's the jet fire, which does look pretty cool. Um, and it came out and, you know, back in Armada, this made the trope of jet fire and Optimus combining into one. So it does have a special place in my heart but I think I'll wait for hopefully a TF con repaint into something interesting like galaxy shuttle would be really cool. Just, just putting that out in the universe. So, um, but as it stands, I'm not going to buy the normal jet fire, even though my toy back from 2002 still goes off in its bin that I have it in storage and I hear it blasting off every now and then. <laughs> Mine did that as well when I moved into <laughs> when I moved a couple of years ago. It was in the box, and you could just hear it. I was like, "Oh my uh -huh. god, these batteries last forever!" <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So it looks good, though. It has some size on him. Um, the shuttle mode looks really nice. I like the shuttle mode. Yeah, and I like how those can combine as well. And there's the full trailer, and there's pants mode. And I'm still not the biggest fan of it because you have to remove the legs from the um, Optimus Prime, but it does look good for what it is. Too bad those legs can't like go on his shoulders and become guns or something, just something. So they're not just sitting on a shelf. But, you know, maybe Starscream puts them on and runs around in them. <laughs> yeah, I'm not, I don't know if I'm going to pick up the Jetfire or the Overlord yet. And there's the combined mode. And hopefully it doesn't need to do the splits with the official figures I get. These are really early test shots. So I would understand why that it wouldn't be able to hold its weight. Because this looks very awkward. <laughs> <laughs> so let's move on to Vectron Labs. So they just said, thanks for sticking with us. We are still working on it. So pause if you want to read it. There wasn't much more to see. Here's the final design for 2023. And it's showing off, I'm assuming, the lakes. I don't, I didn't understand this when we were watching it. I think it's showing how clean it is, maybe. I maybe, don't know yeah. And there's the back. And he has different expressions. And there's the posability, I'm assuming. And he has an amp crunch that is pleasing from certain angles and not so much from others. <laughs> and the waist swivel. And he's like, that's all, folks. So, um, yeah, we'll see what if this ever comes to fruition, because I know there has been some issues with um, some of the staff. I've read that on TFW. So. We'll see if this comes to fruition. Whether or not those rumors are true, I can't, I don't know. But we'll see um, what goes on. And there's been some YouTube videos. I, I'd recommend checking them out. If you're like me and you like a little bit of gossip, it's interesting. Yeah, I had these pre-orders. I was really excited, you know, plus to support a new company. But it was just too much turmoil. So I canceled my pre-orders. But I do hope they come out. And if they do, I, I will support them again. Yeah. Yeah, and I, I think um, they just need to get that first figure out to show that, hey, we're still here. And then yeah. that'll get some more people interested. Oh, and here's Omega Supreme fixing him. 
because you know Omega loves the um, Devastator, and here they're gonna, he's taking him to Disneyland. That's where they're going. <laughs> And there he is next to Megatron, who's very mad that Omega Supreme is taking him to Disneyland and not Megatron. <laughs> and then here, I guess they were showing the vehicle mode, which actually looks really cool. It has a big old bulldozer front piece. I don't know what that's called. So it looks pretty cool. And then they were showing that you could either go the Toon leg or you could go a um, G1 toy leg. So I think that's pretty neat. Um, and I guess these are, they're going to say they're already coming out with the prototypes for the next two members, which is Mixmaster, which is my favorite Constructicon, and the Long Haul. So we'll see, um, if we see these, I'm assuming we will see these at TFCon in Toronto and Orlando. If they were smart, that's what they would, they would try to hit every TFCon, but we'll see. Yeah, I agree. They they started already t teasing them, and I mean that photo right there actually looks really good. And it looks like it says estimated end of work timeline is end of twenty twenty four. So I'm wondering if they expect to be completed by the end of twenty twenty four. That's a lot. Being... That would be fast. That so I mean we've seen it before with Radiotron. So we'll see if they're able to do it. Yeah, that would be really cool. And they are teasing a Megatron. Which, which is, I love that photo as well. Yeah, I do too. I think this photo is really cool. So we'll see if it's as cool as the photo in 2024-2025. Right. And he says thank you. Well, <laughs> to Omega Supreme for taking him to Disneyland. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so let's finish this off as always with Mastermind Creations. So the first one is um, uh, Double Dealer. And we already talked about this. You hate this. I'm indifferent to it. I still wouldn't get it, but yeah. hey, it's a thing. Yeah, There's your least hated cool. mode, or your most hated mode, excuse me. Yes, that's killing me. I don't mind it. Because it's if it's a Cybertronian missile tank, it's literally treads and missiles. And I think that, that works. Makes that makes sense. Or <laughs> wheels. I guess it has wheels, not treads. So I get it, but it's just not my double dealer. That's the biggest thing for me. It's just not my double dealer. So let's go to Infinity Finity, which really made me excited when I saw this. I was like, we're finally going to see something new. And then they just showed off the same mold that they started off with and uh with a new head and different guns and i think they changed it to have this bright energon all spark blue and i'm not going to get it now because of that blue it clashes with that green way too much for my liking i actually like it and you've been complaining about I this know. and i don't know why I absolutely have no idea why I'm actually thinking about picking this up. Wow, look at you. I do have the Eris, so the original version of this. I got the first edition Eris, which is an amazing figure. So if you do get this, you will be very happy. I just can't get over that blue. It just, I feel like it wasn't that blue when we saw, I think it was TFCon LA <laughs> when they showed this off. I feel like it was a gray or something. Because that uh, it's just too much for me. Yeah, I don't remember, but I don't, again, and I don't know why I'm attracted to picking up this figure. Absolutely, have no idea. You've been hanging out with me too much. I think so. Maybe that's what it is. You're you're a, a bad friend to hang with. <laughs> <laughs> so here it is, some more. Yeah. And then we got the tapes, which they showed off the rewind, which you picked up. And I actually got to, you actually opened it, which was very cool. You don't usually do that at these shows. So I yeah. was able to actually see it and have it in hand. And these things are really good quality. I will wait for the repaint. I'm going to get a shirt that says that because I say it way too often. But I want this as Rosanna. I, 
I'm all in for these tapes. They're they're very good. I I love the packaging, how it's like a tape player, mm -hmm. and you know the transformation was was very very simple, unlike the steel jaw, mm -hmm. and so I'm I'm very excited for these. Yes, so I, I'll be waiting for the Rosanna, and I'll probably pick it up. And there's some artwork. And then the last thing was their Perfection series where they showed off Hotspot. Yes. Now, this was pretty cool. Um, I did like it quite a bit. I think it had a great mode. It's just not for me. I, I have my Protectabots. Here's the mode everybody's going to display it in. I mean, I already know that <laughs> everybody shelves is going to have this mode. So I, I, think, I think it looks pretty nice. Um, here's the combined mode, which looks really cool. And as with their Bruticus, it is a all-in-one combiner. Yes, that's... I mean, they what... have the all-in-one combiner with the feet coming down. And they made a big deal about like, oh, the, the feet come down on a little um, um, bars and that's how it's all-in-one combiner. And I was like, but that's been done before. That's what the Make Toys one did and that's what the Hasbro did with their Menasaur. So I'm like, I don't know why that's the biggest <laughs> deal in the world. <laughs> but they were making it seem like it was breaking news. The chicken legs. Yes, and that is the second most popular mode I'm going to see on the shelf, <laughs> I'm assuming. Yeah, give, I can see give, that. Give it that head from um, from Double Dealer, and it'll, it, it'll be a chicken. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Put the arms on and leave those legs. But I was really excited about this. I have the first two limbs, and so... I'm happy that it's coming. I can't wait to complete it. Yeah. And then, oh, I don't think we actually have a picture of this, but they showed off that they are planning to do a Devastator. Yes. Which I know you are all in for. I am, and I'm going to have so many Devastators, but I don't care. And that was everything they showed off with. So they showed off quite a bit, and I think that it was interesting. I don't think there was much as the past, but I was talking to one of my friends at TFCon, and we were talking about how it kind of let us down. But he said when they did show off a lot, half of those things never came out. Uh -huh. So I'm like, oh, you're correct. I guess I would see what is coming out and what they actually have planned versus – being all hyped up for like make toys, ape face and snapdragon, and then them never come out. So I guess that is a point. Well, for me, it was more so a very uneventful panel. I was really excited about it. And I think you had to nudge me a couple of times because I dozed off in the in the panel. Well, I was just like yeah. I was not excited. I saw your eyes close and I was like Okay, he's just resting his eyes. And then I saw your head tilt forward, and I'm like, okay, wake up, wake up. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was done. Now. Oh, this is so boring. But yeah. it was, it was it wasn't as exciting. And I don't I feel feel bad for the crowd. And I feel bad for the host because you know he tried to do all he could to keep it exciting, but it just was not what we're typically used to from the, the two previous ones we sat in on. So yeah, um, I agree. With that said, though, my wallet side of uh, a little relief there. Mine did too. Um, let's see. I'm only going to get like two or three figures. So well, I'm not going that yeah. far. But. What? Yeah, you, you got a little bit more, but so we'll see. All right, guys. So that's everything we have for you today. So join us in the next video. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. And as always, till all debates are won.